Hey everybody, welcome to CRNT Designers. This is Chetan and in this Blender tutorial, we are going to create this design. The main motto of this tutorial is achieving this design. So without further ado, let's get started. Reference image link in the description box. Okay, let's start to work at here. Shift A, mesh, add a cylinder. I'm going with the 64 words. That's like this. Okay, just scale it down and move it along the z-axis then you can select this top face and use the insert operation then scale it along the x and y axis so you can press shift z then just select this top face and then e to extrude it and move it along the z-axis you can turn on the x-ray mode okay now just we need to add a simple cube so mesh add a cube scale down this cube in this way just move it along the z-axis then go to the edit mode select this corner edges and then control b and then add a bevel on them add one segment bevel give the bevel width 0.3 that will be fine now just select its top face and then just move it along the z-axis scale it down little bit that will be fine just give the right position at here and then scale it along the y-axis then rotate it into the 45 degree angle shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into the 90 degree angle and you will get this X pattern but here you can see I'm not getting any kind of form which is here okay I need to decrease its width so just I'm going to scale it down maybe 1% and if I rotate it into the 45 degree now So I need to scale it down a little bit more. Okay, now that's fine. Okay. Then go to the edit mode. Select this words and move them along the z-axis. Select this words and move them along the z-axis. Then scale it along the y-axis a little bit. And then shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into the 45 degree angle. And then rotate this into the minus 45 degree angle. Then join this together. And then use the boolean operation which is difference. You will get something like this. And then we need to apply the boolean modifier at here and then delete this cutter object that's look good okay now we need to take the symmetry so you can select everything mesh and then symmetrize take the symmetry along the x and y axis and then you can delete the one third of the model and so you can select this much portion and then delete it add a mirror modifier on it and take the symmetry along the x and y axis turn on that clipping and merging option and now what we need to do add one word at here and like this and then double tap g for the edge slide and then connect it as like this and then you can dissolve it okay Select this word and double tap G for the edge slide and keep it at here. Then just select this words and move it at here. Double tap G for the edge slide. Select this words and similar thing you need to use the edge slide. And then connect this words in this way. And similar kind of thing we need to do at this side also select the words double tap G for the H slide we got something like this 
but one thing we need to notice we don't have any loop add there so we can connect it in this way and we can connect it in this way and same thing just select this word connect it select this word connect it dissolve it now the next simple thing select this knife tool and create a cut along the y-axis in this way use the knife tool and create a cut along the x-axis in this way and similar kind of thing create a cut like this and create a cut like this I'm just going to turn off that mirror modifier then create a cut like this we can select this and we can connect it like this we can then connect it then just select this H double tab G and take like this and we need to connect this we don't need to create any kind of triangle at there and that's the task which we have here and then you can use the safe flow for this word you can add one loop cut and then you can connect this also we just want to get that right topology nothing anything else nothing anything fancy we want to do we want to do simple things Choose the knife tool, create a cut, then create a cut, and then move it along the z axis and connect it like this. Yeah, we got a loop structure at there. And same kind of loop structure you can create to this side also. Okay, so basically we got the right topology, right loop structure. Then just you can select this word and then connect them. Select this word and then connect it. And then same thing, use the knife tool and create a cut along the Z axis. Create a cut along the Z axis then same thing select this H double tab G for the H slide just move it like this add two loop cuts it means worse and we got this kind of topology we need to select this H word and then create a cut like this then same thing select this word and create a cut like this okay and same thing from the outer side also create a cut and here also create a cut and we got this kind of loop structure which goes like this 
this kind of loop structure which goes like this and this kind of loop structure which goes like this and add a bunch of loop cuts like this then turn on the mirror modifier then add loop cuts like this select this face press i for the insert operation make sure your boundary option should be on while using the insert operation then use the insert operation one more time then select this bottom face press i for the insert operation and then press i for the insert operation okay then you can add one loop cut like this but rather than adding the loop cut i'm going to use the knife tool so use the knife tool and create a cut like this so c x maybe y and create a cut like this you can add loop cut at here also add two loop cuts like this that will be fine and then add a subdivision surface modifier and there you go you got this design just one thing is remain at there just turn off this auto smooth and the thing is very simple we can do that thing right now also so for that just we need to dissolve these edge loops and then just select these words select these words select these words select these words and then select these words okay and then just check and then mow them along the c axis in this way you can see this type of form slope we have here in the design just try to create that slope that's look good and then you can add loop cuts as like this that's look good now just you need to select this edge loops control x to dissolve them and add new edge loops like this and then you can turn on your sub demodifier and now you can see that's look good you can see we got this design at here yeah there are little bit of weird shading you can see little bit of pinching but that's fine yaar here also you can see this is the concept sketch this is not the 3d model this is just a concept sketch we have tried to achieve that design here yeah we can spend as much time as we want to refine the model so i'm just going to select it shift to duplicate it press m and make a backup just select this and here you can apply the mirror modifier then you can select this face and then delete the face then select this edge loop and then just go face and then grid fill and then you can use the insert operation one more time that's it just for the good topology if you want then then select this edge loop and then face and then grid fill just add a few loop cuts like this and now that's look good then just i'm going to add one more cylinder add there let's go yeah i'm like an addict do i got to have it i ain't even playing got a really bad habit if it moves got to grab it fuels like a magnet lose won't have it till i'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing got a weird mind. If you work 8 hours, I'm a work 9. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'm a stay in power for a long. Something like this we wanted to create here you can see in this design and we have created here in the 3D form. So that's look really well. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So next video take care.
I'm never gonna look back Cause damn I was built to last You move slow and I move fast And that's fast